Welcome back ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Mindful SMP server. We are over here in Spawn and we are doing some cooking. That is correct ladies and gentlemen, we are doing some cooking and this cooking is preparing for our little story event that we are planning to do on the server which I am really really looking forward to. We went out and got loads and loads of clay, we're cooking that clay up because we need the blocks. We need the blocks, we need the bricks, we need some polished diorite, we need some stone stairs and other bits and pieces that is going to go towards this build. The build to start off, the story event, the event that will get people killed. People will die, they will die, they might not, they might be lucky. But there are parts of this story event that will kill people and they will be murdered off slowly and surely in some respects but we'll see how that goes we we'll see how that goes we're still debating on where our location of the start of this story event is going to be but for today what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be digging we're just going to be digging digging all the way around this square pinnacle here and hopefully i won't run into anyone else's bases around here or builds or anyway so we'll start digging away have a look see what's going on around here and see what it looks like so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig outwards and around this and all the way around to the other side so I'll bring you guys back once I've got that dug out and uh, I'll tell you a little bit more on what I'm doing over here so I've been doing a little bit of digging in and out around the area into that little room in there. And I'll take you guys in there in a second. I just want to get these these lovely vegetables replanted, the carrots and the potatoes. Because we still need to keep these going. We've got a crap load, so these are probably going to be the last few that I'll plant for a very long time. Because as you can see over here, we have a double chest full of them. And they are also escaping into this chest down here too. So yeah, like I say, I've been digging out this room down here and I've done some extra bits too. I've gone a bit further than I expected. But hey, when you get stuck into things, it happens. You fly forward in an immense amount of time. So yes, I started parting down, uh, planting down my pumpkins, which are growing at an exceedingly cool rate, which is fantastic. So that is our pumpkins around the middle there. I am going to put some watermelons in too, which is going to be coming along down the back here. And then we will plant all of those in around here. We've only got four seeds at the moment, so it's going to be a hell of a long time before we can get a, a decent array of these lovely watermelons. But for now, let's just start filling these in. As you can see, I've got stairs is on the back of these places here. And this is what it's doing. I really do need some light up here because I have taken down the torches off of the floor. Purely because they were in the Z way. Let's stick that into there. Stick two there. And we stick one in the middle. There we are. Cool. So as, you, as I was saying, you can see here we've got some little tiny steps. These are polished andesite stairs, which it goes with the polished andesite. And what they are here for is basically for water. So we're going to probably dig this one out and put some more steps underneath this block and put some water underneath there too to help this lovely area get hydrated. You don't need it to be hydrated, but I really do like that option of having the hydration there because it does make the ground change that color and it looks a little bit better than the bog standard horrible dry looking dirt that we got here. So that's pretty good that we're going to go there. I left the option here to expand further inwards and you know what, I probably will not do that with the... Uh, corn or the wheat here because we've cold we've killed off 48 of our mushroom cows down in there so we've managed to uh, keep the uh, two little pods down there going but we killed off another 
24 in each. That's another 48 we've killed and kept 48 alive. We don't need that many down there. But uh, we're going to keep these two here just for spare. And then uh, we'll carry on here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my hoe. I'm going to start raking this off. I need to get some oak wood which I've got in my ender chest. And I'm going to start placing some bits and pieces down here as well. Also need to go and get some acacia wood because that is annoying at the moment I don't have any on me so I'm going to have to go and get some of that but what I mean by putting there because you can waterlog these we can just do that there and do exactly the same with uh, uh, that one and then uh, yeah what I need to do now is put the uh, blocks along the back there and this will stay exactly how it was Water logs in there, the water doesn't disappear, and that is fantastic. So, uh, yeah, let me go and get some more stuff. Let me start placing down the wood and go and get some acacia, and I'll bring you guys back with the next part of this little building here to bring a bit of color into the back grayness of this area. So, let me go and get some stuff, and I'll bring you guys back. What was that? I don't know if you saw that. It might have been just the particle effect. It looked like something white ghostly just shot across the screen. So yeah, we are in here now. We're filling in the backs. I've got all my acacia up and all that lot. Hello, there we go for Lorna. And uh, we're just finishing off this room now. We've got some of our lovely seeds going in here. The watermelons are growing, which is fantastic. We've only had one crop so far, but uh, we are just finishing this off here. We've got the roof to do too, but in fairness, we'll probably just do that a little bit off camera because we've just got all the main the main room parts done for the day. So what I'm doing here is just filling up these little sections here with our lovely sand because I think that gives it a nice little offset with that color. It looks absolutely gorgeous like that. So we're gonna use the sand to fill in these parts here because it makes it look beautiful and I think in theory this is gonna be the end of today's episode once I filled these in and uh, the next episode what we'll probably start doing is start concentrating on the story event in the server the murder mystery that I've got going in my head I started collecting all the first building blocks for that so I'm looking forward to that just need to get the time now to start building up the locations needed for the story uh, it may take a little while it might not be something that's going to come out in the next couple of weeks but uh, we will definitely get stuck in with doing that if I can get a chance to finish filling these in so on the last few bits here, let's put that into there and let's fill this last one in here together and that will finish off this area. And you know what? I think the area looks absolutely gorgeous with that color. It fits in quite well. I'm probably gonna keep the roof, the slabbage of the diorite because it does work well, but I will probably go up that level so I'll probably take out that level again and push the diorite roof up one more so it's definitely higher than that on the outside here but I think that's going to be it ladies and gentlemen I think that is absolutely the end of the video for the day we've dug this out we've made this bit of farm going on here we've got our pumpkins going we've had one little session of the ground of the watermelons I've also got over here some uh uh beetroot as is two beetroot i think we've got radishes in the game i haven't got any of those so i need to go and get some radishes but we've still got options to expand out in here even if it's that way and that way we've got loads of options now to expand outwards but we'll come across that at a later date if we need to but for now i want to say thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this episode hope you enjoy the plans that we've got coming forward so please come along and keep an eye open on that hit that like button and also consider subscribing to keep that little idea of a murder mystery so you don't miss out on that so for now take care have fun see you soon and as always bye for now